non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have, and they turn to the only light that they have, and I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven. Of the 20th century, his name is Billy Graham, and I, I first met Billy Graham nearly 50 years ago. I was a student at Hope College in Holland, Michigan, a Christian college, and we invited a young minister who was about 27 years old to come from his little church in Chicago and preach to us for three days, and his name was Billy Graham. And he did something that I'd never heard before in my life. I grew up in a mainline Protestant church called the Reformed Church in America, and we never had what the Baptists had, that's altar calls at the end of a service. So it was a new experience for me, and the rest of my life, I want to lead people to a personal commitment to accepting Jesus Christ as their Lord, their Savior, their best friend. And I learned that from experience. Billy, that was 50 years ago. My, well, I'm honored to have been the spokesman for the Lord on that moment. Well, Christianity and being a true believer, you know, I think there's the, the, the body of Christ, which comes from all the Christian groups around the world or outside the Christian groups. I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And I don't think that we're going to see a great sweeping uh, revival that will turn the whole world to Christ at any time. I think James answered that, the Apostle James, in the first council in Jerusalem when he said that God's purpose for this age is to call out a people for his name. Mm -hmm. And that's what God is doing today. Mm -hmm. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have and they turn to the only light that they have. And I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven.